So if you're like me, you are the proud owner of a DJI Mini or Mini 2 drone. And you've tried to run the DJI Fly application on an Android device or maybe one of your Samsung mobile Android devices and you found that it doesn't work. And you're confused because your device is listed on the DJI box and on the DJI website as a approved device. Whether it's one of the Samsung tablets or whether it's one of the Samsung phones, it's not working. And if you're like me, you've tried many of the workarounds to get it to work and it hasn't worked. Now there's some people that say you need to uh, flash your phone and, and ROM your phone and, and install an older version of Android, like version 9 or even version 10, because those versions all seem to work. I do own a Galaxy S7 phone that is no longer activated, and I immediately installed the Fly app, and it worked right away. So there's definitely something wrong with newer Android devices in DJI Fly. So I discovered a workaround, and it worked for me. And you need to follow these instructions in order and make sure you do it correctly. And the first thing you need to do is uninstall all your DJI apps. Get rid of them, uninstall them, and reboot your phone for good measure. And then delete all of the APK files or installation files that you've downloaded from DJI. Get rid of them all. Then, the next thing you're going to do is, oh, wait a minute, I got these out of order here. The next thing you're going to do is install a third-party APK installer application. You need to install a third-party APK application, and there's a good one out there, and it looks like a, a little green ghost-looking thing with a down arrow. That's a pretty good one. So install a third-party APK installation app, and you can just search APK installer, and you'll get something that works. The next thing you're going to do is, when you run it, run it, run that APK app, installer app, and give it permissions to install from unknown sources. Okay, that's very important. You've got to give it permission to install. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the DJI website, and you're going to download DJI Go 4 from the DJI website. Do not download it from the Play Market. But you're like, what? Well, why would I want to download DJI Go 4 when I'm trying to run a Mini or a Mini 2? DJI Go 4 is for the Mavic or the Phantom 4 uh, heavier drones. Well, just follow these instructions. Give me a chance. Do it. Download it. And make sure you down you're downloading from the DJI website. And it's going to give you an APK file. Then install the APK file with the APK installer that you just downloaded. So you got to close Chrome, go to your desktop or go to your apps and open this app and you should see this new DJI uh, APK in the list of APKs on your phone. Do not install it with Chrome. If you click on the APK file, the default is going to open it with the Chrome APK installer. And from my research, the Chrome APK user interface is about 50% of the problem in this process. So install it with the APK installer. If you install it with the Chrome APK installer, it might not work. As a matter of fact, I did it and it didn't work. So DJI Go 4 did not work with the Chrome APK installer. Then open DJI Go 4 and log in. Hopefully you're already a, um, a DJI user. You could always make sure you, you get your username and, and password and all that stuff. Register your stuff on DJI's website and then go take care of this in the app. Make sure you got a web connected uh, phone and log in. Open DJI app and log in. Okay. Then close the app. Close this app. And, and, and this, if you know you're on the right track if this opens and you can log in. Okay. That's, you're on the right track. Then open Chrome or any other web browser with your mobile device and download the DJI Fly app from the DJI website. Do not get it from the Play Market or some other area. Download the newest version, 1.6 or whatever it is right now. Download it from the DJI website, DJI Fly app. Download it. Wait for the APK to download. Then open 
the Fly application, the APK with the third-party third party APK installer. Do not open it in Chrome. Open it with the, with the APK in installer and install it. It should install just fine. Then, after it's done installing, open and run your DJI Fly app. It should work. I spent the better part of four days looking for processes that didn't require me to uh, ROM my phone and flash a whole entire new version of Android and Chrome user interface. So I didn't want to do that. I like Android 12 and it seems to run pretty good and I also like my Galaxy S10 phone. It crushes. I know a lot of people that don't really notice any difference between the Galaxy S10 and the Galaxy S20 except for a few camera features but the Galaxy S10 is nice small phone and it's not one of these giant f things that you got to worry about where you're going to put it in your pocket the Galaxy S10 is nice and, and small so if you're like me and you want your Galaxy S10 or your S10e or your Galaxy Galaxy S20 or your your S20 FE and and, you're, and you need to run the Fly app follow these instructions get rid of all your old apps Install a third-party APK installer, give it permissions, download the Go4 app, install it with the APK installer, don't use the Chrome installer, don't just click on the APK, because if you click on the APK, it's going to launch Chrome. Then open the DJI4 Go app, log in, set it up, it should open and run fine, download the DJI Fly app from the DJI website, open it with the, th open it with the APK installer, you should see the new... Uh, DJI Fly app on the list of available uh, APKs and then open and run your DJI Fly app and it's going to ask you to log in as well. That's it. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day. Now you can use your, your DJI Mini or Mini 2 and uh, have it work properly with your Samsung device. And uh, boo on DJI for abysmal Android support.